2009, Chicago was bidding to host the 2016 Olympics. With the influx of people, companies were looking for ways to take home the gold. And for one company, taxis would drive their next venture. My son um, was working in one of the companies we just started on electric car charging stations. And he um, received a call from an electric car taxi company in Detroit that they wanted to come visit Chicago and they were looking for charging stations. And when we asked them what was the reason, they said Chicago was um, going to be the home of the Olympics and they were looking for a zero emission village. And so the taxi group that had electric cars wanted to utilize charging stations and we volunteered. With only 45 days to complete the project, the team for Chicago's first solar charging station, named Solar Plug, powered through. Now the station's canopy is the recipient of the steel industry's highest honor, an Ideas 2 award from the American Institute of Steel Construction for innovation in design and sustainability. The idea was to make it very efficient and uh, minimalistic and still be able to achieve uh, the aspects of the project. So it really is like um, a natural growing form, whether it's a flower bundled to or um, the idea of, of a tree that sprouts up and grows. Uh, that's one of the reasons we use steel. It, it was very easy to kind of bend and uh, kind of mimic the natural uh, environment. Even on cloudy days, the solar plug can still charge cars. The canopy is connected to the city's electrical grid, which supplements the solar power when there's less sunlight. A typical battery holds 50 kilowatts, which means the car can travel 200 miles when fully charged. Even though most Chicago residents are still filling up their tanks with gas, the project team is optimistic for the future of solar power. We need nowadays to generate uh, electricity from renewable sources and there's wide expanses of parking lots that can be um, kind of utilized, not just as parking lots now, as energy generation centers. So I think the idea of these prefabricated uh, structures being used throughout the country um, is, is the future. There's a, there's a definite need out there and hopefully this you know, starts people being aware of, of the need and the solution that we have for it. Our hope is that we use the solar plug as a way to develop distributive energy. We start building solar not only in, in solar farms and wind farms, but locally within the communities themselves. And as we start developing microgrids, there's going to be more and more need to use steel and to use different kinds of technologies to develop the infrastructure within the cities themselves as both part of buildings and part of parking lots as they start developing into energy um, supported um, um, connections. Currently there's only two solar plugs in Chicago, but with the road already paid for electric vehicles, it's possible that we will see the tree-like structures popping up very soon.